I have my zinc and tin plates made. They're poured. Uh, the sand method didn't work. I had to use a cookie sheet and then put Portland cement in there and then I pressed those uh, styrofoam uh, plate patterns in there. It's the only way I could get them to work. The sand method, it was too thin. It wasn't coming out. It wasn't going all the way to the bottom before it cooled. All right, I have nine done, but because I'm adding 10 to the list, I have an additional six. So I have 12 left to do. This first one is going to be zinc and stainless steel. And the second one is going to be copper and tin. All right, again, starting us off is stainless steel and zinc and sea salt and power. All right, disconnecting. Let's just snap on a load real quick, see what she does. Oh, not good. All right, soda. 0.85, adding power. All right, disconnecting. All right, peroxide, 0.65, adding power, shot right up there. All right, disconnecting. Chlorine, adding power, 0.25. Oops. All right, disconnecting. Potassium hydroxide, adding power. All right, disconnecting. It's sodium hydroxide, which is the last test for this cell, as battery acid don't like the zinc. Adding power. Shot right up there. Disconnecting. Huh. Adding a load. All right, removing load. All right, this one is copper and tin in sea salt. Adding power. All right, disconnecting. Good. Coca Cola 0.46 adding power. Disconnecting. Peroxide 0.42 adding power. All right, disconnecting. Chlorine. This one started out at like 0.35 and it's been slowly rising. It's probably been sitting in here for about a minute. Adding power. All right, disconnecting. Potassium hydroxide, 0.5, adding power.
disconnecting. Sodium hydroxide, adding power. All right, disconnecting for time, but I'm gonna check this out a little bit better. All right, All right sulfuric acid, adding power. She's climbing. Not quite halfway to two volts. All right, disconnecting power. All right, still on the sulfuric acid one. Let me show you something here. Okay, I'm gonna add voltage. Now, it won't go much higher than that. You might get 0.9. Okay, I'll disconnect it. Okay, it'll stay around 0.58, 0 0.57. Let's see, when I test the amp load, I'm gonna put this in a 10 amp section. I'm gonna plug it in right now. Highest was 4.3 amps disconnecting it I'm gonna show you what this I'm gonna hook this battery up and I'll show you what that does okay here's the battery cell hooked up let's do the same thing put her in the 10 amp setting I'll plug her in the switch hands here Seven point five amps, and that's what we're competing with. Of course, this isn't dropping. 